Hi everyone. Today we're going to create a very simple game that can be played with only one button. Also in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to make it available for tablets and mobile phones. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin deleting the cat and adding our character. If possible, a top view, because it will look better. Or also, you can paint it. In my case, I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to select a circle, gradient color, blue and dark blue. And I'm going to put it here. Keep in mind, if you press shift, the circle will be regular. And please, very important, this has to be centered in the canvas, here, exactly in the center. If not, when spinning, it's going to be like orbiting around a planet. And now with the reshape tool, if you want, you can modify this, you make it pointed, and this way you know in which direction it is pointing at. No matter which thing you make here, it has to be facing the right side of the screen, that's important, okay? And now let's go to the backdrops, and here in the backdrops, we're gonna assign the different levels for our game. So let's take, for example, a line, but you can use anything. You can use text, shapes, whatever you want. And in my case, I'm gonna make them black. So um, this size is okay. Now again, pressing Shift. We can make a couple of lines, and this is going to be level 1, a very easy level, so that the person that plays my game has some time to practice and get the hang of it. And, well, I'm gonna duplicate. In this second one, I will add a circle, but the fill of my circle is gonna be solid and black. And, well, maybe it's not easy to pass through it, so let's make it a little bit smaller let's go to backdrop 3 i'm gonna duplicate again in this case i'm gonna get rid of it and make for example this this and backdrop 4 i'm gonna paint this time because i'm not gonna be using those lines i'm gonna make something completely different let's make a kind of cloud here And let's make some rain. Okay, making sure it is possible to pass. Okay, more or less, it could work. Okay. And finally, in backdrops, the last level, which will be party with a you want message let's make it black select tool and put it in the center okay so now that we have the different levels in each level we're gonna put something something which will have a different color from black that we will need to touch to pass to the following level so let's take a circle let's make it yellow for example and be careful when making this because if the outline is selected and you make the circle here this black outline is going to be a problem because that's exactly the color we can't touch so make sure it doesn't have an outline or if it does it's a different color and now select you select it copy next level paste next level paste next level paste maybe here and that's all now we only need to code the character it's very simple you will see code sprite one let's call it player one and the code is this simple when we click on the green flag well first of all uh, we're going to make sure we start 
in backdrop one click and we start in this position on the left so well you place it here you look at the coordinates and now in motion you put it and you make sure these coordinates coincide with these ones that uh, they normally do so now after that forever if then else if key space pressed our character is going to move so move 10 steps and if not if key space is not pressed it is going to turn maybe 15 is too much so you can put 10 and here you can put 8 for example and this way we can move it and now a couple of conditions if we are touching black color we can pick black very easily here when we touch black we want to go to the beginning what's the beginning it's this position so you can duplicate this block and put it here and now when we touch black we go to the beginning okay and what happens if we touch yellow and in this case touching color we use this tool to pick yellow most of you will think well next backdrop that's quite easy but what happens if we touch yellow and we go to the next backdrop we're still touching yellow so we will go to the next backdrop again and we will be here so besides going to the next backdrop we also have to go to the starting point and with this our game is finished now you have to try it to make sure it is possible to pass that was not easy let's see this because that's quite complex okay after a few items i i did it and now in this um screen if you want you could put when backdrop switches to party hide and obviously when we click on the green flag show hide when we click on the green flag it shows again and this is the game and as i promised to make it mobile friendly it is very simple you only have to do this let's put or and let's add mouse down and this way when touching the screen or when clicking the mouse we can also move the character and this is the end of the video guys i hope you liked it if you're creative you can make lots of levels even with some moving objects if you want i can make a tutorial on it write it in the comments and i will see you in the next video ciao